This is part of a morally bankrupt system. As a mother, it was very difficult to walk through the center. It has a prison-like feel. This was a chilling experience, not because the staff that works here isn't trying to do the best for the children, but because the system itself is um, unacceptable. We walked into a room that has uh, bunk beds where 144 kids are sleeping in one area. We saw kids that were eating in a tent. I don't know how many kids were able to eat there. It's unacceptable to keep children in these kinds of situations for a very long period of time. The young boys and girls that we visited today in Homestead are the very ones on which Donald Trump has made his political career. What I did not see, and this is a message for the Trump administration, I did not see criminals, I did not see gang members. These were young, hopeful kids These are not invaders. These are people who are oftentimes frightened by what they left behind in their home countries and hopeful that the United States will be what it has been for generations of people from all over the world. I saw kids who have hope. that this country will welcome them. And they welcomed you. And I'm sorry, but um, I have kids some similar ages and it's very tough to see. Those kids are full of hope that we will welcome them and that they will be reunited with a family member. We need to get these children to family members much more quickly and Congress will have the opportunity, particularly the House of Representatives, to look at what's holding up the process. I think there should be no profit motive in warehousing young migrant kids. This is part of a morally bankrupt system. So we will get to the bottom of this. We will leave no stone unturned because we've got to make sure that these children are treated with dignity, with respect, and with human kindness.